Hey everyone, uh, I want to make a short tutorial showing my method to configure Steam controller bindings as well as some advantages Steam binds have for Rocket League. If you're like me and your Steam binds are super broken in Rocket League, this will fix it. I'll also show you how to make an easy stall macro as well as how to use a PS4's touchpad in Rocket League. These bindings are not possible with just regular Rocket League binds, these are Steam specific. so. Sorry to console players, Epic Games, all that stuff. If you haven't already, you're going to have to enable your controller configurations. So go to Steam, go to the little corner, go to settings, then click on controller, configure, and then enable the support for the specific controller you use, which for us is going to be the PlayStation controller. Hit OK. Now you can access controller configuration. Square to browse. And then this is the one I use that works. And below it are the broken ones, which I will go into detail now. So if you open your bindings, it will now open into Steam. Here you can see I have these bindings on the touchpad and this arrow on X. These are the binds that are broken. So cross is supposed to arrow, however, as you can see, it does not work. And the touchpad, for some, <laughs> for some reason, it flips. It's very broken. Here's how you work around it. So when you create a controller configuration using Steam binds, Synox here gives you two base templates to start with. It gives you this one, which is the based off the Rocket League standard controls, and it also gives you this older legacy official Psionics bindings. Now, naturally you'd use the newer one because, right, you'd think that would work. But as you saw, they seem to have some issues. So you can use the legacy bindings, and these actually work perfectly. While they are a little different from the Rocket League standard controls, because when you use the Rocket League standard controls, it basically imports all your bindings from Rocket League into your Steam profile and then it forces you to configure your bindings within the Steam window whenever you click on change bindings. So press X to import these bindings and then press square to save them. Now this will let you edit your controls through the normal bindings. It will appear as Xbox controls but don't worry about that. Alright, so now if you want to make your own profile, you're good from here. If you want to make the stall bind and the use of the touch pads the way I did, I will walk you through that right now. For the stall bind, you're going to bind all your stall controls onto a single unused keyboard character. Here I use P and then use either arrow right or left and then the opposite arrow steer right or left. And then for the other bindings that you want on your touchpad, just choose other key characters that aren't used on your keyboard. I'm going to use a binding for reset shot as well as the use item because I want those on my touchpad. Now I just noticed I have to unbind that save replay because it was saved to P which I'm going to be using for my stall bind. I don't want to save my replay every single time I stall. Write down these binds and make sure there's no conflicts. Now navigate back to your controller configuration. Alright, so then choose which binding you want your stall to be on. I'm going to put mine on the right stick. Here you can also change whether you want a square dead zone or not, which I like to use. If you don't see this menu, you probably chose Rocket League standard controls and not the legacy. So once you selected your stall keyboard input, that's done. Now you can move on to your touchpad. So you can split the touchpad like that and then go and make sure you select a button input or whatever it's called, single button. And then you can choose to have the touch and the click do different actions. So I'm gonna put touch onto my scoreboard, which is tab. And then I'm gonna put the click on V, which is my rumble use item or spike rush, whatever. And then on the other side of the touchpad, I'm gonna have the click action be the goal reset or like the training reset, which I put on R. And then once you have whatever binds you want on the touchpad, 
you can boop, click export, save it to personal, save new binding, and then call whatever you want. Save it. And voila, it's done. So as you can see, it works. I can stall and I can air roll. Those binds are working great. And the square dead zone is working as well. You can't really see that, but <laughs> I guarantee it is. Look, I can reset my training as well. And yeah, that's it.